The world is facing a population crisis. Experts predict the number of people on the planet could begin to shrink in the next 30 years. Empty playgrounds, schools without enough students to stay open, small towns deserted and abandoned. This is not some dystopian vision of the future. Demographers warn this is our future. Global population growth is leveling off and by the second half of this century could begin to shrink for the first time since the bubonic plague struck the world almost 700 years ago. Everything that we understand that functions in our societies today that depends on people, which is almost everything, is going to change. Stephen J. Shaw is a data scientist, demographer, and producer of the film Birth Gap. He spoke to us from his home in Japan, one of the nations at the forefront of this global demographic collapse. Shaw told us he made the documentary mostly out of fear. Fear of the future that we're, you know, as, as a planet, completely unprepared for and mostly unaware of. The population crisis could be the most important story of our time because of all the changes and potential problems that it will bring to our world. Taxes could soar as economies shrink. The many elderly could cause retirement and medical systems to collapse. Businesses will struggle to find employees, and there won't be enough young to care for the old. That means sporadically you're going to have housing that's left desolated, you're going to have stores that are empty, you're going to have places with fewer and fewer employees, to your customers. You're, you're talking of decimations of communities. You're talking of closed schools. You're talking of closed hospitals. A nation needs an average fertility rate of 2.1 children per woman to keep its population from shrinking. The countries on this map in some shade of blue all fall below that replacement rate. They include 70% of the global population in almost every developed nation. The U.S. fertility rate hit a new record low last year, dropping to 1.62 births per woman, a number temporarily offset by record numbers of illegal immigrants. In his film, Shaw explains how fewer children from fewer and fewer mothers creates a cascading effect, leading to a downward spiral from which Shaw says no known civilization has ever recovered. This thing is going to be like a snowball rolling downhill. It's just going to keep building. Daryl Bricker is global CEO of the polling firm Ipsos Public Affairs and co-author of Empty Planet, The Shock of Global Population Decline. The top reason for people not having children is they just don't want them. That's the main reason people are not having children. Uh, the second reason tends to be related to their ability to have children, whether it's the relationship that they're in or the, the, the personal circumstances they find themselves in or um, their physical ability to have children. Shaw calls it unplanned childlessness linked to delayed parenthood. People trying or wanting to start families well into their 30s, when frankly biology isn't going to help necessarily. Biological challenges start around that time, but there's a bigger problem. Often people looking to start families in their 30s aren't in stable relationships. They've gone through a breakup, they don't have a partner, their partner's not on the right page at the right time, it doesn't get easier to find that magical moment. Government incentive programs to encourage larger families have seen only limited success. Shaw warns that nations with the lowest fertility rates could see their populations cut in half in as few as two generations. Most of our lives we've been told how the world faces dangerous overpopulation. If the present trends continue, our cities are going to be choked with people. They're going to be choked with traffic. They're going to be choked with crime. They're going to be choked with pollution. And they will be impossible places in which to live, and the explosions will be even worse. So people stopped having enough children. And now this widening birth gap could be the most important social and political event in modern history. The first message I would give to anybody is wake up. This is going to be one of the dominant issues, if not the dominant issue, through the course of the 21st century. We've gotten used to this idea that things generally get better, but all of that relies on certain things being in place. It's not like population is going to glide down to some wonderful lower number. No, it's ugly. But also because there's no known solution. No society's ever come out of this. The future doesn't have to look like this.
but Shaw said we've got to start talking about it. Dale Hurd, CBN News. Well, this demographic shift comes as a surprise to a lot of people. We were told, as mentioned so long, that the world's going to be overpopulated. Uh, but when you look at this crisis, and as Dale mentioned, lack of employees for businesses, taxes through the roof, retirement accounts wiped out, elderly folks lacking care. I mean, there's a lot of things people get frightened of today, aren't there? You look at China, they're vowing to take Taiwan by force. This war about to uh, increase in the Middle East. Ukraine now on the offensive in Russia. People are frightened, right? These are scary times, or they can be. But I want to remind you, Jesus tells us, be anxious for nothing. 